peeps, as you can see, I am in the old PDP house and I am about to do a story time. I am going to tell you guys what life was like before the PDP house became the PDP house. Before there was prank first prank and what living was like back then. So before I get into that, I just wanted to point out that I was in the closet in the house and I found a couple old shirts. So I figured every time I make a video in this house, I'll try to wear some throwback type shirt and this is one of them. Also, in the last video I put up, I wore this shirt, which you may or may not remember from the pranks. Somebody made this for us and I wore it. And what's really cool about this shirt is the girl who sent it to me years ago just so happened to message me on Instagram because she had seen my story when I was wearing it. So we are going to give this shirt away in the video and she is happy and supportive of the idea. So it's really cool passing along something from one peep to another. So in this video, this is gonna be the giveaway. The Team PVP, you're cleaning it up shirt. And uh, all you gotta do is really quickly just go to my Instagram, comment on my most recent picture. Yeah, tell me that you want this and you will have it. It's size small. So a lot of you guys probably don't know this. The first video that ever went up on the internet was not in this house. It was the cinnamon challenge. And I did the tablespoon of cinnamon. The video went viral instantly, the very first video. I was upset that this video went on the internet and like, I just was really embarrassed. So. Wait a second, I'm trying to think back what my revenge video was because the revenge happened in this house But then I feel like there was another video that was posted. We don't have this video anymore Like I don't even know where it is because it was not uploaded on YouTube We started off YouTube on a different website and then eventually moved to YouTube when YouTube was like kind of starting The video that I remember that stands out in my head. It's so stupid I remember I was like I got scared and I was on a ladder So I literally like fell off the ladder while I was scared that was such a stupid video, but that video went viral and then from there it was just like this spiral effect of videos going viral and you guys loved it eventually the vlog started and the vlog channel be a first year before YouTube I was in school full-time I never went to school to be a nurse a lot of you guys thought that and I kind of like tricked it because you thought that because I had a stethoscope which was my mother's because she went to school to be a nurse that's how people I think started coming up with this idea that I was a nurse but I never was so I would sit right here I would study really really hard I would stay up all night long, sit in this chair with my books, and freaking cram. I'm a crammer. I used to cram so much information in, and I would memorize, like, I don't know, whatever it was I needed to know for the test definitions or whatever. Like, and I would sit here pulling all nighters all the time and go to school, and I would, like, kill my test. I would do really good. I would ace them, but it was super stressful. I remember this is also terrible. I shouldn't be saying this, but whatever, I did it. I would be. <laughs> doing last minute cramming in my car. I would have like my notes in the car and I'd be like trying to study as I'm driving, which is terrible, don't ever, anybody do that. And I also bartended. At the time when I was in school, I was also doing stuff in the hospitality industry. So I did like catering, bartending, waitressing, host, I did like every kind of thing in that industry. But it turned into mostly being bartending towards the end. Jesse was trying to convince me to stop working. I didn't want to stop, I wanted to continue. But eventually I did because we were traveling a lot more and it was kind of hard with my schedule. So at one point I was managing a kid's place. How do you explain what this place was? It was kind of like a play place, except it was like upscale. It wasn't like Chuck E. Cheese. It was like a more like a learning community with for kids. But anyway, I managed that for a little while. But that was before I stopped bartending. What else did I do in this house um, that you might be interested in? Um, I used to cook a lot. I know you guys remember the kitchen. I used to cook a lot and I really, really enjoy cooking. To be honest, I don't cook much at all anymore. In this house, I cooked a lot. I enjoyed it. I know you guys always were like, make a cooking channel. I don't really want to do that. And then, ew, these were like the ugliest plates. I always hated these. They were so ugly. I didn't pick these up. That's another thing I did a lot of in here. <laughs> MTV Cribs. Wow, what's in my fridge? Nothing. This might be, I wonder if this was from that prank video where we like gave each other toilet water. I forget who did it. You guys probably know better than me. And that's another funny thing. What's the other thing? <laughs> I forgot. 
because I'm relocating. All right, wait, what was I thinking? What's the other thing? That's another thing. I can't remember all of the things. Like, I feel like you guys probably remember better than I do all of the pranks and the details of the pranks. I think once you get wrapped up in this world of filming and making videos like every day, it's literally this ongoing process that you don't have time to reflect on. So I kind of forget a lot of things that did happen or the details of them. Sometimes I'm like, I'm thinking of a prank video and maybe I think I did that prank, but it was actually something, a prank that was pulled on myself. But yeah, so my memory got shot from doing the pranks. Another thing about this house is our friends were always scared to come here, either sleep over or eat anything. They were always afraid to eat something because they thought that like they would be pranked with whatever it was and I would always be like, no, like come on, like it's me, like you know I'm not going to prank you. Well actually no, I did a lot of times, but <laughs> I don't know, people were always afraid to eat here. Or no, especially if the camera was on. If the camera was on, no chance that someone would want to eat something here. Or sleep. People were afraid to sleep here. I would be too. I mean, could you guys imagine? How would you feel? Write it in the comments. How would you feel if you stepped foot in this house? I wonder if you guys would be scared. <laughs> when I would bartend, I would come home late. A lot of times when I would get pranked, I would be coming in tired as hell from working all night and then here, surprise prank, and I would get so pissed. That's why you guys used to love the videos because like I was not trying to have that. I'm coming home, working all day, tired as hell, and then I get pranked, I'm like, ugh. Another thing I just thought that you would be really interested in is why is this the house that we chose? In Pennsylvania, which the suburban area in PA, at the time it was way more expensive to purchase a house there and here we were able to afford it so we ended up coming here but like I ended up coming here because we fell in love with this house I remember walking in here I was like we need this house like we have to get this house I loved it so much we both did and then we almost lost the house I remember I was crying because another person submitted an offer and like they got the house and yo I remember I was in the car and I had an apple and I was so mad because we got the phone call and I was so mad I took the apple and I like chucked it out the window and I started bawling crying and I was like no like that was the house I wanted that house so bad I don't know what happened with those people I can't remember but like somehow it fell through with them and it was open on the table for us to get it again and I was just like no way this can't be true like this is really happening we're getting this house and it was like we were so happy it was so exciting and like then we got it and it was awesome <laughs> so this house was actually the first house that either of us had owned we were first time homeowners together and I for myself it was my first time moving out I had never lived out of my house ever so like this is like my first experience like being out of the house from living with like my parents and then living with my dad but yeah so this is the first one. But yeah, I feel like this story is, is pretty long already. If you guys wanna see more story time from this house or whatever, if you want more story times in this house, give me topic ideas of what you wanna know because I kinda, I'm like struggling a bit of like what stories I should tell you. But anyway, I'd be happy to do another one. Also guys, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. It really helps and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos and I am happy to continue doing it. It just takes two seconds, so bam. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace on the street. Side. Check. The merch store is one, up two, and two, running, one. and I hope that you enjoy these pieces. You can find the merch at jensmithofficial.com, and the link is in the description. I love you guys. Peace out.